We are the dollars and cents. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Well, today I'm gonna do something a little bit different. Uh, instead of bore you guys with like a bunch of different videos for a bunch of different, for like five different fragrances, I'm gonna go ahead and sample all these right now. Now, I haven't been um, up to date on this house in quite some time. I wanna say the last one I tried from this house, uh, I tried either at Macy's or one of those stores, uh, but then I ended up seeing it at Marshall's. And I gotta, I gotta tell you guys, to be honest with you, this um early on this house got a lot of love and then i guess maybe because they started showing up at tj maxx or marshall's or i don't know what happened but they um sort of started losing um some some of their luster i guess um maybe because they were doing clones um it, it's i'm talking about the house um of uh, english laundry um early on like i think it was 2016 i fell in love with one of their fragrances called Windsor. Um, just love that fragrance. People compared it to Amber Narguli, uh, maybe even Ojean. Um, actually never even tried those side by side. I want to say I sold my bottle of Windsor a while back. Um, but they've had some other ones that were pretty close to other ones. I want to say their Oxford Blue was supposed to be a clone of Eros. Uh, the London was the most recent one that I've tried. That one, I believe, was an Aventus clone, if not Club de Nuit. Because I want to say it's closer to Club de Nuit, uh, for Man Intense or whatever. Um, and then Cambridge Night or Cambridge Night, however you guys want to pronounce it. I want to say that one was a takeoff of Invictus, although it slightly reminded me of um, Scent of Peace from the House of Bond Number 9. So uh, not really sure if that was supposed to be the clone of it or not. All that to say, I was scrolling through Macy's the other day online and saw that they had a gift set of their 30 mil bottles. And literally they had a gift set of four fragrances that I've never even heard of, one, and they've been out for a year or so, or maybe two years, but I've never heard of these, probably, again, because I probably fell out of uh, of love with the house or fell out of like, and haven't been keeping up with them. Um, yeah, just not really sure what, what why, um, but I did do a little bit of research on some of these fragrances, don't know anything about them. I, do, I got the notes from Macy's, um, and I could only find three of these on for Granica, so I don't have all the information when it comes to what they're classified and whatnot. Um, but yeah, so we, I will show you guys the pet, the box that it comes in. And I, I did also buy a, a gift set of another one um, that wasn't included in the set, but I wanted to get that 30 mil bottle as well because it came with a 30 mil bottle. Um, so this gift set, if you want to call it a sample set, it says English Laundry there. Uh, this comes with four, and I, like I said, I bought the um, I bought the uh, gift set of another one so i can get the smaller bottle um but this has four fragrances as you can see it does say the names right here throne charmer armor nor castle and then the last one is going to be royal forest now again i could have easily just done you know five short videos and mo most reviewers probably would have but honestly i i, I if, if the only reason why i didn't do that is because i didn't want to I was really let down by the last few releases. So I didn't want to get started by doing a first impressions video on one of these only. And then it just reminds me of a, it's a clone. These all could be complete clones. Um, that's another reason why I figured I would do them all together so I can go ahead and just go, okay, that's a clone of this. That's a clone of that. Because honestly, once I smell something, if it reminds me of like, oh, this is supposed to be whatever, then I, I just kind of lose interest, honestly, because I've already been there, done that. So I think it'd be faster if these are clones I'll just be able to tell you, hey, this is a clone of this. Either go get it, try it, or stay away from it. That's pretty much what my goal is tonight. Um, but I will say, if any of these are really good, I will do a full follow-up video on if all four are good. Maybe I'll do a follow-up video on all four. It's going to take a little while, or, or five, I believe. Um, I'm really just kind of hoping there's a couple that I'm like, okay, that's pretty good. I don't know if that's a clone or not. This is pretty decent. Um, you know, it's worth a follow-up video or, or a full review. So this is just going to be a first impressions. And if, if uh, like I said, if they're worth going that extra mile, I definitely will. Now, we'll start by saying these are all Eau de Parfum concentrations. You guys can see it right here on the bottom of the package. It does say Eau de Parfum for all of them. And I will assume that the last one is an Eau de Parfum as well. Um, I do like how they, they come in these little 30 mil bottles because it's just, um, I don't know who doesn't like a small, a small travel bottle you can put in the gym bag or whatnot. Um, but I do have little, um, have the names here written on them. So I will be able to keep them separate. 
And so we're going to take the sleeve off here and we're going to go ahead and start with Throne. And I, I will start by saying, because I wrote all these, I'm very old school, I wrote all the notes out. And um, all of these notes are kind of similar here and there. So I don't know if maybe they were running out of ingredients and said, hey, let's make let's make five fragrances and they, or four or five, depending on, because I think it, was, it wasn't all five. Uh, and let's just use all the same notes, but just kind of change it up a little bit because it kind of seems that way. But I will hold my judgment till the end. Um, but right now we're going to start with Throne. So here's the bottle for Throne. It is considered uh, an aromatic fruity released in 2020. The top notes are bergamot. The mid are geranium and jasmine. And the base, we have cedar and oak moss. Now remember those notes because I believe we're going to be going back to those for another one because um, they're very similar. Now we got a little plastic cap kind of kind of wiggles but again again we're not gonna go too much over these bottles because again they're they're a okay house for the price especially if you're paying 15 bucks a bottle for the big 100 mils at marshall's or tj max so i'm not trying to throw too much shade on them i will definitely not suggest buying any of these right now these i don't know the other ones retail like just go to just go to marshall's and tj max and try to see if they have any yet um or i'm sure you can find them on amazon or somewhere cheap all right so Going in on Throne, here is the strip. I'm gonna go ahead and spray the strip. A couple sprays. Okay. Hmm, does smell familiar. Little bit of, now I, I, I'm gonna get killed. I say this every time. I'm not trying to be, be like a broken record to sound like everybody else. This does have an Invictus vibe. Reminds me a little bit of Cambridge Night, honestly. Bergamot, geranium, jasmine, cedar, oak moss. Very sweet, very fruity, slightly woody. Reminds me of a maybe greener version of Cambridge Night. Just has a little bit of that same sort of flavor. Don't know what this is supposed to be a clone of, but it's very familiar. Now, I'll go back to these in a minute. I don't want this video to be 20 minutes long. So I'm going to go ahead and set the, the bottles down next to the strips. That way I can keep track of them pretty well. Next one is going to be Charmer. Now, they sort of uh, broke the rules here with this one. They just put the name on the side. They didn't even put the insignia or any of that stuff on there, which is kind of funny. Now, Charmer. Um, don't know the classification of this one. Um, I'm going to guess that all these are going to be aromatic woody or aromatic fruity. Uh, in the top for Charmer, we have bergamot, grapefruit, uh, apple, and sea salt. In the mid, we have orange blossom, cedar, and jasmine. Um, and in the base, we run things off with patchouli, amber, oak moss, vanilla, and musk. This one does sound kind of nice. I do like the grapefruit and the sea salt in this one with the apple. There's the apple in a few of these, actually. So let's see if this one is a clone of anything, and we'll see where it goes. Here we go. Charmer going in. Here we go. <clears throat> few sprays here on Charmer. Okay. Hmm. Kind of like woody, warm, spicy. Getting a lot of cedar. This is like a... Hmm. Not really sure how to, how to describe this one right now. I'm getting like a nice woody cedar, like an authentic cedar note. The ones that I always talk about that I don't get in other fragrances. I'm actually getting it in this one. It's sweet from vanilla. It's like warm, spicy, but fresh. Fresh, spicy, warm, spicy, woody, sweet, almost a little peppery, but there's no pepper in this. Maybe it's from the oak moss. Okay. I could see this one not in this bottle, though. This smells like something would be like in a darker bottle, which we'll see here in, in a minute or so. Uh, some of these come in darker bottles. This seems like this clear bottle looks like it's going to be more of a fresh fragrance. Right now, I'm getting like a... It seems a little light, but kind of spicy, woody fragrance. But can't put my finger on what... The, if, if this is supposed to be a clone, I don't know what it is. At first, it sort of reminded me a little bit of like flower, flower bomb. Like, you know how that one has a little bit of that sweet sort of spicy pepperiness to it? If you guys know that one, 
This one's super light. It's kind of uh, concerning me a little bit. But it's not a bad fragrance right now. It's, uh, like I said, very, very cedar heavy. Next one is going to be Armor. Now, this one was released in 2021. I did find this one on Fragranica, and the notes did match up. So, Armor. Uh, in the top, we have Bergamot and Lemon Zest. In the mid, we have Lavender, Geranium, and Rose. And the base, we run things off with Patchouli, Oak Moss, and Musk. All right, guys. This is probably the coolest looking bottle. It looks like it's black um, on screen, but when I have the light, it actually looks like a navy blue with like a brown. So a uh, good looking bottle. And it does have a matte finish on it. It's always like that. And a nice matte black on the cap, which is it's, it's a nice touch as well. All right, armor. Here we go. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. I don't know if these are... Well, if they're Eau de Parfums, they're barely making the cut on uh, percentage-wise because I'm getting a lot of alcohol. This one's this one is very light as well. I'm getting citrus notes, but they're very sharp citrus notes. So I'm definitely getting the lemon zest. Um, the lemon zest is very, very sharp in this one. Almost a little sour. I'm getting the geranium and the rose a little bit. Not not too heavy, not too feminine. I mean, this is definitely a masculine fragrance. I got a little bit of a dated feel with this one. A little bit of like polo feel at the, at the opening. Hmm. This is more of a, uh, uh, looks sounds like more of a dated, old school, gentlemanly type of fragrance. I'm not trying to say it smells like polo uh, by Ralph Lauren. But it has like that sharp woodiness to it. And uh, sharp citrus note, which is definitely got to be from the lemon zest. Because if you guys know what lemon zest is, it's like the, the rind of the lemon. Very concentrated. Yeah, this one's a little a little uh, earthier and dirty. You've got the oak moss in there. got the patchouli. I'm definitely getting all those notes in there. It's very masculine. Very, very old school. This one is for the older guys. The older guys out there. But yeah, right now armor is... Not bad, you know, I'm, I'm about to be 42 here in a couple of weeks, so I gotta, you know, getting out there. Noir Castle is next. Um, So sorry if I screw up, I, I put these real close together because I want to get them all on one sheet, so hopefully I don't read off the wrong notes for these guys. Noir Castle is a woody aromatic fragrance released in 2021. Top notes, we have green apple and grapefruit. In the middle, we have jasmine and geranium. And the base, we run things off with cedar and sandalwood. It sounds a little bit like the first one because we have the geranium and the jasmine in the mid. And we got the cedar in the base. Um, that was the throne, the very first one we did. So, again, like I was kind of saying, kind of joking around earlier, saying they, they kind of just have all the same notes and just made a bunch of fragrances with it. But, again, I'm, just, I'm kind of just joking around. I don't know if they did, obviously don't know if they did that. But <clears throat> Noir Castle... Going in on Noir Castle. Let's check this one out. Let's see what I get. Is this a clone of anything? Hmm. Okay. This is a... Definitely getting the green apple and the grapefruit. But this is a creamy, spicy, warm, spicy... Mmm, smells a little bit like Bad Boy. I'd have to check the notes on that. Yeah, this reminds me of Bad Boy. This smells good, though. Bad Boy, you guys know, is one of my faves when it comes to the designer game. That was one of my favorite releases back a couple of years ago, whenever that was. Um, getting a lot of Bad Boy feels, or like uh, Mont Blanc Legend Night. Just those start off citrusy, but they get kind of kind of almost chocolatey and uh, gourmandy kind of a little bit. Definitely getting that feel from this one. Again, this could be a clone of something else, but right now I'm going to stick with the bad boy comparison. It does have like the sort of the black uh, deal here. But I don't want to spend too much time on these. I will go back and, and do the, uh, the dry downs here in a minute, but right now I will say this is going to be a bad boy clone. Now, did I save the best for last? I'm not really sure, but I did like the notes in this one. Um, and it did come in a pretty cool, uh, I think it's green, yeah, like a dark forest green, um, very fitting for the name. 
um, forest green bottle with a gold cap. Has that nice classic English laundry look. Did I save the best for last? We will see. So it is called Royal Forest. Royal Forest here, guys. Um, again, don't know the classification. Don't know the year. I'm going to assume it's going to be 2020 or 2021, unless this one's 2022, just because uh, it was not included in the set. Um, in the top, we have uh, lemon, grapefruit, bergamot, apple, and ozonic notes. In the mid, we have orange flower, honey, cedar, and leafy greens. And the base round things off with amberwood, patchouli, oak moss, and musk. Okay, so I think Royal Forest, it's going to be green. I can already tell you that right now. It's going to be uh, super fruity on top. It's going to be a little bit sweet. I do like there's honey in this. Honey and cedar. That's, that, that's the notes that really stuck out to me. But we got some patchouli, some oak moss, and some leafy greens. It's gonna, it's gonna, this is going to be something hopefully special. We'll see. All right, Royal Forest. A couple sprays with this one. Here we go. A little bit of air. Hmm. Okay. Right now, I'm very underwhelmed, honestly. Um, am I am, am I going nose blind? Am I going to need some coffee beans? I normally don't. <clears throat> I'm getting a almost. A little bit uh, like the Noir Castle. A little, not not so much. It smells like Bad Boy. It just has like that creamy sweetness to it. And I think this is from the Honey Note and the Cedar. So that the honey mixing with the cedar, which I want to say there's honey and cedar in Bois d'Argent from Dior. Um, so I'm getting a little bit of that. But this one is also kind of a dusty, sort of sandy, spicy. Um, there's a sweetness here. So I'm definitely getting a little bit of the of fruity notes. Can't really pinpoint which, if it's grapefruit or lemon or bergamot. So I'm just getting some citrus notes. A little bit of the sweet apple. A little bit of the honey and the cedar. And maybe a little bit of woodiness from the amberwood, but... But I'm, I'm definitely getting a lot of cedar. I don't think this is going to be a clone of anything, but this does remind me of a, of a fuller-bodied, um, greener version of Bois d'Argent. But that's just a quick assessment, guys. Please don't get mad at me in the comments. You guys, you guys are savages out there. But yeah. Um, seems to be a little bit light, man. I don't know. I don't know which one I want to revisit. Even if I, if I did, I, okay. So I'm going to go back over them real quick. All right. So the throne, throne. Hmm. This smells nice. It, it's gotten a lot more dated. It's gotten a lot more gentlemanly, if not old school. Still reminds me a little bit of the uh, Cambridge Night opening. Not as strong. And a little bit greener, maybe. But not bad. Not bad. Um, full bottle worthy? I don't know. I think it's... If you guys can get... This sample set wasn't very much. I want to say it was like 50 bucks. And you get four uh, 20 mils. All right. The next one was Charmer. Hmm. This is the one I think that said had, had a lot of the cedar in it. Now, I'm getting the same cedar note as all the other ones that have cedar in it, too. So, nothing special here. Honestly, it's very, very light. A little bit of the sea salt. But overall, I'm getting a lot of cedar. It's like a spicy, woody, uh, semi-sweet, semi-fruity cedar fragrance with that vanilla so right now charmer and something about royal force and charmer is kind of similar next one is armor go back to that one wow okay this one definitely has the old man vibe this has the patchouli the oak moss so it has like that old school 
you know, hairy chested <laughs> 80s dynamic fragrance, but there's also some, the geranium and rose are really strong in this. Not, not a big fan of this one because the geranium's overtaking it and the rose is just underneath it. So I'm not a big fan of geranium or rose. So this one is definitely going to be out. Next one is going to be the Noir Castle, which I think I said might have been my favorite. Oh, that was the bad boy. Okay. It's gone away from the bad boy opening. And this one does. It went away from that, like that chocolatey sort of deal. Now it's like, almost like a bitter. It's like one or two molecules away from smelling like coffee. There's something in this that's giving it a bit of a coffee vibe, but it's not all the way there. It's, it's, it's a little bit of that chocolatiness, but then it stops. It doesn't have the full sweetness for chocolate. It doesn't have that full, whatever you want to call it, to give it the, the full coffee um, smell. So it's, 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 it has the same uh, vibe from the opening, but the, the sweetness has gone away from the, from the bad boy opening. But I will still stick with saying this one this might be like similar to bad boy. So now to cap off this video, we're going to, we're going to go with Royal Forest last. Okay. This one might be, have the most potential, honestly. And it might be the newest one, honestly, because this one was not included in the set. And I want to say it wasn't on Fragranica, so maybe either it sucked or, um, it sucked or it's brand new and it's just not on the website yet. But I do get the same, um, the same sort of um, sweet, powdery cedar note in this. I get a very heavy honey with uh, uh, cedar. A little bit of the uh, of the citrus notes are still hanging in there. Slightly green, not super um, '80s with the oak moss and patchouli. But. If I had to choose one to go to, to if if I was forced to review one, it'd probably be this one. But I'll be honest with you, I don't want to. I don't really even really. I'm not really sensing anything special with, with any of these. They smell okay, but no, nothing that I want to like revisit. Nothing I want to wear and go. Man, I really want to uh, get you know get uh, give you guys a full review so you guys can really know what this one's about. Honestly, these are not that great. Again. Another Invictus, Charmer, just a sweet cedar, Bad Boy, Noir Castle, Armor, Geranium, Rose Bomb, Royal Forest. Again, probably the most potential is going to be the, did I say Rose Forest? I meant Royal Forest. Probably going to be the most potential, but even this one's not that great, guys. So let me know your thoughts on this. Uh, if you guys have tried any, any of these from the English Laundry Collection, the Eau de Parfums here, and these five that I've mentioned. Let me know your thoughts on these down in the comments below because I'd love to hear what you guys are thinking about these. Am I crazy? Did you guys be get clones off of these? Did you guys have a better assessment than I did? Because I'd love to hear what you guys think these are supposed to be clones of because that's the best I could do right now on this quick little video. It's not quick, but I mean, with five fragrances, guys, you guys, you know, give me a little bit of time on this one, but... Um, I do think they're worth a try, right? If you see them at Macy's and they have a, a, a bottle out, give them a couple of sprays, see if you like one. But right now, nothing really to be too concerned about. Save your money. Um, you know, get a, get a, if you can get a sample, walk around with it um, and check it out for yourself. But guys, thank you guys so much for watching my video on my channel. If you like this video, please click that like button, subscribe to my channel, and turn on notifications for future Fresh Impressions videos and first edit content just like this, guys. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, dollars and cents. There, you find first slide photos and future contest winners. And as always, till next video, you guys take care. Thanks.